This is the final call for passengers departing on MAS flight MH1A to London via Kuala Lumpur and Frankfurt. This is your final six months and I reckon it's time to pop the question. I've made up my mind that you're the woman I love and I'm asking you to honour me by being my wife. I reckon I know everything about you from your letters and the photos. What I want from a marriage is respect and a share in 50-50. I've done all me running around I want to settle down with a wife I can count on and who enjoys the quiet life. You might find it a bit strange here at first, but I've got friends who'll help you learn our ways. And I'll always be by your side to look after you. Excuse me, sir. With all my Thank love, you your hopeful future husband, Kevin. Silver bird, then. You've been on a plane before? Oh, no, never, but uh, I was a little frightened. No, oh, you don't have to be scared on those things. <laughs> More likely to die across the street. There you go. Thank you. Kevin, 
I received your letter today, and I am very happy about it. My family was sad and worried because I'm going away and they have not met you. But when I said something about you, how good you are, they said to me, Australia will be a good place for me because it is like America. You wouldn't have recognized this country a couple of months back. Biggest drought for uh, this century. Bloody dust bowl it was. Not a blade of grass anywhere. <laughs> Even the galahs took off for the city. I must go home to my village to say goodbye to my mother. I will stop working just before I leave Manila. I am very excited to be going to your country and a new life with you, my dearest. I promise I will be a good wife to you and will look after you always. So you will never regret that you are my husband. Was that a kangaroo? Yeah, wallaby. Bloody vermin. Good meat, though. I'll take you shooting one day. You're not tired, are you? Oh, no, not really. Good, oh, we'll drive straight through then, eh? up this little town since the Yanks started with the cotton. It's a war memorial over there. Yeah, you got to hand it to them. Who are those dark people? They're the Abbas. They're the missing link. Been here since the year dot. Uh, some of them are all right, but most of them wouldn't work in an iron lung. Always on the piss. Oh, sorry, uh... Alcohol. Yeah, they can't handle the drink. They're different, see? I mean, they were never meant to be stuck in clothes. They should have left them out in the bush in their lap laps, poor bar. James. Very nice. Yeah, well, it's a bit small, but it's done me for long enough. Got all the mod cons, you know. Toaster, electric fry pan. Dorothy, eh? I've got to clean the place up a bit. <laughs> like I said, it's, uh, it's only temporary. Oh, it's very nice. Very comfortable. <laughs> you can uh, see why I chose a little woman. You wouldn't fit a big one in here. Oh, yeah. You're a bit tired, eh? Oh. I am a bit myself. Hey, I forgot to say it. Welcome home. Oh, thank you, dearest. Oh, I have something for you. I forgot. Oh, uh, I haven't got anything for you yet. I thought I'd let you choose something yourself, you know. Oh, and I'll be setting my bed up later out in the annex. Da -da. Oh, shit. I hope it's fit. You're bigger than I thought. <laughs> oh, it's, uh, it's lovely. Really very nice.
Good, mate. Good. Uh, good on you. What, you ride one first, did she? <laughs> no worries, mate. Ride is right. Good on you. Geez, I bet there's no G on you on any in the morning, mate. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you later. All right, mate. All right, Take it easy, will you? Anyone who thinks you're facing a firing squad. Not far wrong, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. Got you something to face the ordeal. Okay. Yeah, I just can't get used to the idea of me old mate finally tying the knot at last. <laughs> what are you crapping on about? You're married, aren't you? <laughs> Wouldn't have thought a handsome bloke like you would have to go to so much trouble to get himself a chick, eh? Give it a rest, Tomo. Too late now, anyway. Bug, I'd just better wish you luck. You're gonna need it. You sure you got the ring? Of course I've got the ring. Take it easy, will you? Jesus. Gentlemen, may I present the bride? Well, just stand there, you big galoot. Come on. Now, hold it right there. I've got to get a couple of pictures. Oh, wait. Uh, why don't we stand over there? It's more pretty. Yeah, good. Come on, kids, don't be shy. Moving a bit closer, for goodness sakes. Now, say cheese. Hey, Don, you reckon my Lord of Brides cost more and more? And again. Cheese. I will love you and honour you. I will love you and honour you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. <coughs> I am Paro Maria Cruz. I am Paro Maria Cruz. Take you, Kevin Arthur Saunders. Take you, Kevin Arthur Saunders. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and health. I will love you. I will love you. And honor you. And honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. You have declared your consent before the church. May the Lord, in his goodness, confirm your consent and fill you both with his blessing. What God has joined, men must not divide. Amen. 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 Not too many, not we get the thirsty. <laughs> 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 They, um, <laughs> they did. It's amazing thing. They did. Yeah. 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 I'm sorry, Mrs. Saunders, I missed your first name. Auntie. Well, congratulations, Auntie. I hope everything goes well for you. Thank you.
Now, if you need anything. Poor little bugger. Shit, I hate this town. Ah, yeah, dear, it's a broadening cultural experience. Morning, Mrs. Saunders. I'll make breakfast for you. I'm hungry, but uh, not for food. Sorry, I passed out on you last night.
brothers and sisters have you got them? There are eight of us now. One of my little brothers died four years ago. It was a very bad time for us. Gee, that's not good. They're all healthy and happy now. Like my own children. Hey, hey, we got a bite. Oh, yes. Really, Min? Oh. <laughs> Do you want a hand? Oh. Are you right? Yes. Uh, oh, it's a big one. Yeah, but it's only a bloody carp. Oh, wow. Gee, where'd you learn to fish like that? I'm from the Seaton Village, remember? <laughs> they use rods over there? No, we're using net. Huh? Oh, it's good. Gee, took the bait. Oh, wow. Pity it's only a bloody no, carp. No, it's good fish. Let me keep it. I cook it properly for you. Pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. All right, eh? Try anything once. Kevin? Hmm? When will I meet your family? What do you want to meet them for? Well, uh... Don't you love your mother and father? I don't want to talk about it. Anyway, my policy is to look after the aisle number one. Now you, of course. It's different from me. I'm the oldest. I have to look after my brothers and sisters. I have to send them money for education, all those things. Money? Yes, it's very important. But of course, I don't want it from you. I will get a job, no. I can. No wife of mine's going out to work. Let them look after themselves. I had to. Never accepted handouts from nobody. I got the dressmaking, secretary work, and my family. It is. <laughs> I must. It's my duty. You're too kind-hearted. Anyway, you're out of it now. Imagine you being a little fisherwoman, eh? Made the right choice, didn't I? Good morning. Hello. You're Kevin's missus, aren't you? Yes, and you are. Where'd you meet him then? Oh, we were friends, friends for a long time. I met him this other day before we were married. Mm -hmm. Hey, Keith, yeah. you want a beer, mate? Hey, oh, not right now, thanks, mate. Looks like Mary Lice tree, you're right, though. Yeah, you can't complain. Okay. How's the school? Okay. Where do you come from? The Philippines. Where's that? Oh, so long Got any lollies? No, she hasn't. I'm sorry. We'll come back another time. I have something for you then, okay? Okay. <laughs> Have a go at that. No. Oh, go on, Ampy, just a bit. Mmm. Mmm. I like it. <laughs> mm. Well, what do you reckon, eh? You like it here? Yes, very much. Kevin will return to work in three days. He says he feels proud of me. And I have made our house more pretty. So I am very happy. But missing you all very much. Australia is a good place for me. Thanks to God for my luck. I am very happy here. I will send some money when... You're right with your mother again. Mm -hmm. Can I have another stamp, dear? Now, 
Sorry. Just think. I might have chosen one of those other Sheilas I was writing to, and then we would never have even met. Marrying you was the best 50 cents I've ever spent. Better get you on the pill soon, though. Oh, no, Kevin, what I'm saying. You know, I can't. It's against my religion. Oh, plenty of Catholics take the pill over here. But how much, so? But when we talk to the priest, you said. Oh, bloody priest. He's back in the dark ages, that bloke. I'm not about to be saddled with a whole bunch of kids, I can tell you that. Where are we going to put them? In the cutlery drawer? Look, when we move to a bigger place, we'll talk about it then, OK? Might teach you to drive tomorrow, eh? Bet you never did that in the Philippines. Eh? Good day. No, no, not good day. Good day. Yes. Good day. <laughs> oh, stand the Christ. All right. Um, try. Uh, uh, now you try this one. You try this one. Ini, e big kita. Ini. E. E. B. <laughs> hey. Hang on. You're the phone around here. What's it mean, anyway? I love you. Is that right? Well, I love you, too. You know what? I'm going to bring you here every month. A monthly anniversary. I think the pergola should come off the lounge room. Be lovely in summer. Grapevines. What do you think, Kevin? You're the builder. I don't know. Either way, I suppose. There, you see? So, how are you getting on, Ampy? Are you finding your way around okay? Oh, she's doing real well, aren't you, Ampy? Great little cook, too. I'm losing my bachelor's figure. You ought to try it sometime. Oh, yes. We'd love to. I'll be glad to cook for you. Tell you what, Auntie, that carp was bloody terrific. All these years I thought it was cat food. We can save a lot of money eating that a couple of times a week. Mm -hmm. You want a hand? No, dearest. Just sit down and rest. I can do it. Nah, I'll give you a hand. Where do you keep the tea towels? Down. Nice honeymoon, eh? Mm -hmm. Wish I had another week. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, we got to get this on celluloid. Kev domesticated. Give us that, you little weasel. You've been out of circulation too long, mate. The boys thought you might have died and gone to heaven. Yeah? <laughs> Ampy, knock up a bit of tucker for the skinny little runt, will you? Don't they feed you at home, mate? <laughs> Here, come on. Thanks, sir, Ampy. <laughs> yeah, last week. 
Donnie arrives at the hour. Yeah, that's Big Joe. Charlie says, serves you right for being a gin jockey. Told you to stay away from the black velvet. <laughs> <laughs> Should have seen his face. He says, I said VIP, not VD. <laughs> What a hang up on me, bastard. What do you reckon? <laughs> Couldn't organise a route in a brothel. Hey, not too salty with her around, mate. Oh, yeah, right. What's this? Fish. What do you reckon it is, you dopey bastard? Give us a couple more beers, eh, Jesus, mate, not even a Coonsie car. Get him a sandwich. No, 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 I'm only joking. <laughs> Sorry, mate, I didn't mean to be rude or anything. Don't worry about it. I have eye in your clothes for tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, all right. You're in Australia now, you know. Yes. Yeah, well, all that Filipino stuff. You've got to fit in here. Aren't they fitting in? Look, I didn't bring you here just to carry Where on. Where then? What have I done wrong? Well, you haven't done anything wrong. But take that fish, for example. All that peppery stuff you stick on it. Might be all right back home, but you've got to learn to cook Australian food. If you act like a foreigner, people will treat you like but a foreigner. But you like the fish. Oh, yeah, well, I'll eat anything. But it's different serving up wog food to outsiders. They're not used to it. I'm sorry, Kevin. I did not know. Just opposite the pub and down a bit, okay? Dr. Masood. Masood? All right, I'll see you about five, probably. Oh, 
For a while, if you like. Get on, you kids. Go on. How will you like a cup of tea? No, thank you. Gin and a bowling ball. Another one for me. And get one for Steve as well, will you? They've both got holes in them. Go on, go on. What's the difference? Well, you could eat a bowling ball. <laughs> you couldn't buy <laughs> through the crust. That's Kev, he ought to know. Yeah, Kev, are Kev. Well, give me Ampy any day. She knows how to look after a bloke, not like the fat battle axes you blokes go on to. <laughs> Asian women have still got their femininity. <laughs> 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 You've been watching, fellas. You've got all the size of beer pussy with. <laughs> if he forces you to take it, well, but as I understand it, uh, as you know, Ampy, the church is very clear that contraception is not really a matter of personal conscience. I know, Father, it's very wrong. But I do not want to disobey my husband. Yes, yes, I know. But there are other methods that the church sanctions. As I say, I, I will talk to Kevin again. Oh, no, Father, not just now. I think that it will only make him angry. I must find someone else to talk to him. Hello, Kevin. Nice to see you. Yeah. I've, uh, I've just been hearing about Amphi's impressions. Oh, yeah? Yes. Well, I, uh, think I'd better get going. A few other calls to make. Thank you for coming, Father. See you in church, then. Good night, Kevin. All right. What did you talk about? Oh, nothing. We're just talking. What did the doctor say? Oh, I will see him tomorrow when I go to the shop. Hmm. Get us a beer, will you, Pat? How much? $38.49. I'm sorry. Well, you'll have to put some things back. Okay. Oh. No, not that much.
girl. Oh, you are right enough. Give us one of those. Come on, let's have a cup of it. This is a lovely house, Mrs. Baker. Oh, look, please. It's Dorothy. I can't stand being called Mrs. Baker. Dorothy. <laughs> oh, how's Kev treating you then, eh? Oh, he's a real softy, that bloke, if you know how to handle him. You got yourself a good catch there. Oh, he's a very good husband. Very good to me. I'm very happy here. Oh, hey, oh, yes, you're just in time for a cuppa. Oh, come next. I've got to go. Hello. Who's this? This is Kid Saunders' new missus. Auntie, this is Iris. Hi. Where are you off to this time then? Oh, there's a land rights meeting in Sydney. I'll be back tomorrow night. Oh. Do you want anything from down there? How about you, Auntie? Do you want anything from the big smoke? Oh. Is spicy bola, Philippine spices, some calamansi, oh. lime, please lime. Well, I might be able to. I'll ask around. Okay. Go on, have a good time. Okay, see you. Okay, you kids, you should behave yourself now. Now I find this way, all of you. Come on. Oh, Better off getting rid of her bludgeon relations, that one. Still, she's a good maid, Iris. I'll give her that. We look after each other, kids. Mrs. Baker, Dorothy, what is Lang right? Well, uh... I don't know. Sounds bloody fishy to me. Another free hand out. The Lord helps those that help themselves. That's what I reckon. Now look, Ampy, I tell you straight. I don't know what they expect where you come from, but you can loosen up a bit here, eh? You're like a little mouse. <laughs> no, you want to let yourself go, you know? Bring him out of himself, too. You want to jolly him up a bit, give him a good time. He'd be patty in your hands, that bloke. Yeah, Thank you. So, there are a lot of small villages, are there? Mm. But your village, what's it like? Is it beautiful? Oh, it's hard to explain. It is a fitting village, and but everyone is very poor. So many young people go overseas to find jobs. But I was lucky, because in Manila, I stay with my cousins. They look after me. My life is so exciting. So many shops, so many American tourists, many foreigners there. But there's much poverty also, not like here. Well, that's right. The poorest country in the world. Bloody lucky to get out, I reckon. Oh, yes, it's appalling what's going on over there. Tell me, Ampy, how did the people feel about Marcos? Are the village people uh, politicized? Is it a sort of South American situation? I mean to say... Do the villagers support the revolutionaries? Oh, you mean... Well, in my province, I think there were some people who did not think Marcos was such a good man. But the Americans, they make things better for us. Like here. Well, they got to put a stop to communism, haven't they? If the Americans didn't take charge in those countries, Oh, well, yes, the Americans. Like, you take Badigeri, for example. We wouldn't have all these jobs if it wasn't for the old septic Yeah, or the now. chemical poisoning, or the polluted well, river. Well, you can't have progress without paying for it. <laughs> hey, oh, no. You did all the cooking. That's all right. Mm -hmm. The men can do the cleaning up. Hmm? Of course we will. Great meal, Ampy.
Wash your room. Do them good. Auntie, it's none of my business, and I know that... But really, you mustn't let yourself be treated like a... They need a clip around the ears sometimes, these men, or they'll walk all over you. Mm -hmm. Dearest Auntie, I received your letter today, and I am very happy about it. It is good you are so happy in Australia with your husband. I would like to be with you and see Kevin in the country. It sounds very funny there. I'm sorry you cannot send money because Kevin is buying a house. But it is good that you will have your own house. Maybe I will be able to visit you one day if you can send me a ticket. You will not be lonely for very long. You have a good husband and soon you will have many children. Then I will come and help you to take care of your baby. the Australian men like? Well... Uh, hey, Iris! Come in here! <laughs> What's the matter, Doc? Look, <laughs> you'll be able to answer this better than I can. Ampy's just asked me, what? Sexual positions Australian men prefer. <laughs> <laughs> On your back, sister. On your back. <laughs> hey, Auntie. I'm visiting my relatives tomorrow. Would you like to come along? I'll pick you up if you like, eh? <laughs> oh, shut up, Doc. see uncle. How is he? What about his coughing? Oh, he's pretty bad at the moment. Oh, gee. Still coughing badly. Yeah. yeah. What about Doreen? Is the medicine helping your eyes? It's better. Better go and talk to some people. Then we'll go.
Overseas, eh? This is my mother's country, Randy. <laughs> but I come down from Kanarong with my husband. I don't know, Iris. This is just like Manila. Those poor people. I work out in the bloody cotton for nothing. And they spray it all the time with that poison. That's why that old bloke was sick back there. People are used to lying down and taking it. They're frightened. This is such a racist town. You wouldn't believe what goes on here. The cops killed the boy. Did you know that? Bashed him. I'll tell you what, they've gone too far this time. The police. They played us in this country. Oh, it is just terrible. Those little children, they look sick. They look very dirty. You'd look dirty too if you had to live like a dog. Anyway, tell me about the Philippines, your people. Oh, it's very bad. But the family is very close together. Everybody. Aunties, uncles, oh, everybody. The same here. That's one thing those white bastards can't take from us. This is my mother, you see, and this one is Catalina, and this one is Rome. He's in Iran now working. And here's this little fella. Oh, that is Ronald, the baby. Was he so cute? Hi, hello. Oh, Auntie, you've got to get used to it. You're one step up from a bung in this town, Kevin or no Kevin. You're not pure white, sister. So you better work out which side you're on. What did you do today? Oh, I... Oh, where's dinner? I'm starving. for you properly when I don't know when you'll be home dearest perhaps if you could come home earlier I'm lonely here at night no, I've always had a drink after work and I always will still I suppose I could come home a little bit earlier to my little pet <laughs> oh. I got cheap things today mm? and I got all our food for just $32.60 yeah but perhaps not quite enough. I think I need more like $50 to buy all the things we need. Fifty bloody dollars? Yes, we need things for a caravan. And my poor mother, she has nothing. And we got so much. And I thought just a little bit of money. Dorothy has a job. I could work with her. I told you before. What did you do today? I see Dorothy again. Iris took me to the camp to see her She family. took you where? The bloody black skin? Who told you you could go there? It's right, Kevin. I didn't know you would be angry. You didn't know? You didn't bloody know? Did anybody see you? No wife of mine's going to be running around with a bunch of coons, I can tell you that. There's enough talk about you already. Kevin, I... Shut up! Well, you stay away from them, do you understand?
Already there has been one or two already. But we'll take it further. I intend to see that the people responsible for this outrage, the people of this town, to our boys who fought so bravely to keep this land free, should be behind bars. They should be behind bars where scum like this belong. You can't take the law any amateur that's spoiled them in the first place. Yeah, 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 Black, they only understand one thing. True at yeah, the start yeah. and true now. <laughs> yeah, give them sacred bloody rifle sight. That'll sort them out. <laughs> well, you don't show any guts. Where's he going to stop? Yeah. Won't you miss us knocked up by an eagle, Larry? <laughs> That's where the mugs will be up to next. Look, all I'm saying is that the law look after us. Hey, don't look at me, Larry. I'm keeping my nose clean on this one, mate, after that kid. Oh, yeah? What are you paid for, you bastard? Come on, kid, fair go. My job's hard enough as it is, looking oh. after our coloured brothers, without you blokes getting all spoiled. <laughs> <out. laughs> anyway, I'm going on. Right. Didn't see a thing, mate. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you a bunch of girls or what? No. <laughs> don't know the right things to do anymore. Everyone looks at me. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, you're imagining things. <laughs> no one looks at you. I thought you were happy. And my mother. I'm worried for her. And the children. It is my duty to look after them. There's nothing to cry about. I love you. We'll talk about it in the morning, okay? Better sleep now. I'm bugging. Kevin. Huh? My mother. We'll see. It's 
hard, but with the house and that. You should get out and meet some of the other women. That's all that's wrong with you. Why don't you come to the session with me on Sunday? Have a bit of fun, eh? One too. Two beers. Well, you've got to drink something. What? Bacardi and Coke. She likes Coke. Oh, Bacardi and Coke, huh? What about you, man? I'll be right, thanks, Tommy. Wanna play Kev or what? Oh, yeah, mate. Yeah. Uh, you right there? Yes, dear. Hey, uh, Kev, you missed a great rort the other night. Yeah. Should have seen a gin scanner. <laughs> Kathleen, you haven't hurt your eye. Oh, yeah, she uh, ran into a cupboard, didn't you, uh, dearest? Hey, Kev. Come 
live in it, you'll see. Shut up. What's the matter with you? Whore. You bloody whore. You made a fool out of me. Dearest? Don't you dearest me. The good little girl from Manila, eh? Do you think I don't know what you did over there? Get a couple of drinks in here and you can't help yourself, can you? What are you saying? I love you. I got you out of that rat hole. Made something of you. For what? So you could make some money on the side? Why don't you love me? I did not do anything wrong. I thought you all liked me. That you wanted me to... What? Screw me, friends. I want you to be proud of me. But you make me feel shame. Here. You don't love me. You want a perfect woman. <laughs> But I think it is too hard to live here. I'm so unhappy. I do not know how to please Kevin. He will not give me money to give to you. But I look in his bank books, and he has much money. We could buy a house, but I do not think he is going to do it. I want to come home to you. I do not want to grow old here. He says that we cannot have children, and he has made me. Hey, Ampy. Come here. Hey. I still love you. Better lay off the booze, though, eh? I thought we're worth anything. What's the matter with you? Are you okay? Yes, I must go now. Oh, I see. Scared someone will see you with a black chin. Oh, Iris, please. Well, you sure picked your side. Oh, Ampy, I wouldn't be you for anything. Iris, you won't let me see you. I think I'm a black woman, too. You are a black woman. Leave him, Ampy. Get out of this place. Goodbye. I know how hard it is for you, Ampy, but I'm sure everything will work out. If you don't want me to talk to Kevin, well... It's all right, Father. I will not separate. It will bring more shame on my family. But I thought marrying a white man would be... Must just give it time, Ampy. Kevin's a good man, I think. He, uh, he Oh, just... yes, he is so good underneath. But he doesn't care for me anymore. I don't know how to make him love me. And his friend don't like me. I'm sure that's not true. Father, the peel. I threw it away. Well, you did the right thing. Kevin will come round, you'll see. Many a marriage has had its initial difficulty solved by the arrival of children. 
thank you for listening to me. Not at all, Auntie. I'm here whenever you need me. We have a saying at home. Marriage not like hot rice, which will be spat out when it burns the mouth. place now. Looks real good. Can't wait to get started on another place though. That's for Ruth. <laughs> Australian women. Kevin? Hmm? We're going to have a baby. What? But the pill? I must have forgotten to take it one day. I don't remember. Please tell me you're happy. It will be such a beautiful child. Of course I'm happy, it's just... Do you love me? Of course I love you. Just I wasn't expecting this. Bloody kid. Me and father. Look here, your Auntie Chief. Well, I suppose we ought to have a party or something, eh? Good on you, Donny. Sausages are our uh, tuis, eh? Awesome. <laughs> well, what about the little woman, eh? Can she cook or what? Jeez, I wish my missus could knock a fuck like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not too much of that. No, I mean it. You want to go making a fool of yourself again? No, I don't. Okay. Tomatoes? Have all you nuts to eat? Oh, it's lovely. Yeah. Wonderful, Auntie, this food. Take the tomatoes. Pounds it, it's cool. Uh-huh. And did you do all the garden too? Oh, yeah. It's great. Have a saucy stuff. I want to propose another toast to me, old mate. The stud ram. <laughs> Too much shot in the old pistol, eh? <laughs> You might be right, Donnie. Oh. <laughs> Could be twins, eh? Oh. Good on you, mate. Good on you. Cheers. Well, what do you want to do anyway? Just get on the problem in between. Plenty of air, mate. Oh. Uh, come on, you coming? You coming or what? No, mate, I think I've got to give it on this. Wife, you know, it's supposed to be a celebration. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Women can help a tidy up. You're right. John. Anyway, we don't have to spend all the night at the rubber. Oh, God. Come on. Yeah, right, eh? Might as well be pistols away with the yard. sleeping it off. <laughs> I thought I'd better come and tell you. Oh, I see. Want a beer? Yeah. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> well, sit down, I won't bite. Yeah. 
You're not afraid of me, are you? Have a drink. No. Oh, come and sit over here, then. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> What's the matter? Aren't I good enough for you? Let me go. They don't give me the innocent flower routine. <laughs> Come on, be nice. No. this morning. I, uh, passed out at Tomo's. Well, you ask Kathleen if you don't believe your own husband. Oh, for God's sake. All I did was drink a couple of pennies with the boys. Well, look at you. Look at you. Place a bloody mess. You know what you are? Your bloody prison water. Can't do this, can't do that. Ah, oh, buggy of them. the dog? How do you like a friend's mug? Looks like you've been fighting with pussies. <laughs> Where'd you finish up last night? <laughs> I don't know. night. You encouraged him, didn't you? You did it with him, didn't you? Didn't you? Oh, God. You better tell me. just like Dorothy's. Or better. There's Filipinos there too, I checked it out. Big mobs of Filipino women. Friendship society or something. You want to have a go at driving? I was thinking, you know, when the baby's born, Maybe your mother could. Just for a visit, not to stay. 